Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today we're running Thunder Dragons to Cog. I just recently revisited them. We're doing this whole draw sense spell trap combo with these three excellent spell cards. Easy Cog, fun Cog, fun Cog in a meta that's getting more stale, leaning towards a tier 0 Onomat. Still see Resonators, still see Gaia, still see Cyber Dragons, all sorts of weird stuff. But Thunder Dragons clapped its way through. I got a super easy live COG match. Um, so, spoiler alert, but uh, I'll, I'll add, I have some good replays to add on to the end here. So, yeah, Thunder Dragons on the th side of justice. Um, some of you guys in the comments were talking about finally investing in gold sark because this deck totally worth it thunder dragons are awesome onomat will be tier zero everyone's playing them they're having an easy time on the ladder right now and i bet thunder dragons will still be limited before onomat again but uh yeah great stuff with this deck nice and easy cog run hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching hey guys thunder set here and we are going for a cog with thunder dragons Onomat have pretty much proven to be tier 0. They're everywhere, they're hard to beat, they're crushing everything. So if I gotta just fight a bunch of Onomat, I wanna do it with Thunder Dragons. Thunder Dragons get to be on the side of righteousness this time. Looks like we're fighting a Gaia this time though, we wanna go second. We're going first though, not as good. Seven Street. No extra deck for our boy actually, what are we fighting? What are we fighting? We have a good hand. So pretty much the basic start. We actually have a really good hand. Basic Thunder Dragon start. We banish Roar. We banish Dark. Roar, yes. Dark, yes. It's early, so we just say yes to everything so far. What could our board be with no extra deck? So you could just keep it simple and go Hawk for both. Makes it pretty simple. Then you bring out the Roar. Then you decide what you want to bring out. Now we can go Bouncer or we can go the new Bug combo. We're going to go the new Bug combo because this Bug's a Dark, that Bug's a Light, and it puts all of our pieces into the graveyard without blowing its material, blowing its effect. So we have everything in there ready for this Chaos Strike. Next turn. We already, we already have a Chaos Strike on there. We'll have more Chaos Dragon with this. We're not going to use it just yet. This field is good enough. We could try to mill and get lucky and get three, two more dark. And then, uh, minus one from his hand, but we'll, we'll leave it here. That'll be the follow-up. If this guy OTKs us through this without an extra deck, I mean, uh, good good on him, you know? That would be impressive. Oh, is it gonna be a bunch of traps? It just can't... What, what could it be? Wow, we have two Chaos Dragons now. So we're gonna go like this. No delay, huh? Yeah, no delay. Let me see what we got. Wow, that was a... That was a really bad... That was such a bad mill. I'm gonna mill again. So that should be a little better. We'll go into our sin. So that's a battle trap for sure. Maybe he has hand traps. What is this guy? I'm gonna need replays now. Oh, nope, floodgate. Oh, it's a floodgate. Maybe he does have battle traps. Okay, my boy. Not banished, but banished. We're not. We don't gotta use this effect though. So we just go for lethal. No. And that is Cog. That was a very lame duel. So I'm gonna have to find some replays. I'll find some replays. I should have some good ones versus Automat, something like that. Let's see the rank up. Thunder Dragons did it, guys. They were clapping. Pretty easy. Draw Sun Spell Trap with this little 3 combo is pretty devastating. Nice and thin, it's still 20 cards. New Bug Combo works with Chaos, uh, Chaos Dragon the Vioneer and all that stuff. So, it all works out. It's all pretty good. 
Thunder Dragons on the side of Justice, beating T Tier Zero decks. I don't know what that deck was, but just fine. Let's see. <laughs> this, so yeah, this was my final. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, what's this? I think this is a great duel. I'll save this one and I'll show you guys right now. Because I think that was a great duel. I probably have another one saved. So I'll add some duels on. Thunder Dragons clapping, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. We're going second, going for a rank up. So this was four to five. He's using a pretty awesome uh, Light Sworn map there. He's using Thunder Dragons. He's another Thunder Dragons. He's using Temperance. Starting with a Raiden. Raiden. He has a duo. He brought a Roar effect out. He's starting with the Vermilion Dragon mech. This is very similar to what I do. He's got a Dragon Pock. So that's a successful first turn Thunder Dragons, but he's about to see the power of a second turn Thunder Dragons, and we already have fire in our fist. So we're going to start with a Loop Lupine, do the Wombo Combo, Roar and Dark, we use both effects. We just search another Hawk because we have a bunch, then that's our third Hawk. Use that Hawk, bring out the Dark or the Roar. That's the Beetle, but the Beetle's just the middleman. Now we get the real Beetle, the Rhino Beetle. He's the bug we want. Now we banish. Look who's here. It's the Chaos Dragon. Leviathan, and he has to scoop. That was Legend 5. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing Anamats. And uh, this is why we do Thunder Dragons. Because uh, I hate Anamats. This is us about to lose a rank. But we don't lose a rank. We stay ranked. And just with these duels, Thunder Dragons versus Anamats, it's like just two two boxers just punching each other over and over until one of them falls there's no real defense so it's just such a duel well let's see he's starting with a sister going with a co pretty basic turns that's a bouncer now we got a dark going in the graveyard bouncer can't negate that for some reason now we have Light Brigade, we milled the Chaos Dragon, the Binary didn't want to do that, but we have a lot of monsters in the graveyard, so that's pretty good. We get our own Light Sworn Raiden. We're going to bring him out, we're going to mill even more, so really bold to be milling this much. But uh, we have a lot of stuff in there, we even have our duo in there, but we can get our duo out with the Roar, we're about to do that. So we get the duo out with the Roar, we have a Vermilion Dragon mech because we already used the Hawk to bring out a Dark. That's for Million Dragon Mech. Now we have a Duo. Duo over the Bouncer. Duo gives us a Hawk Search after banishing a Spell Card. And then we hit him with the Million Dragon Mech. So we broke a Bouncer. Field's going good. We couldn't quite finish him off. But we got close. Now he's going with the comeback of a Ga 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 Head. He's able to rebuild his board right back as well. He even has a Ga 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 Bolt. There goes the Duo. Two Ga 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 Bolts. There goes the Vermilion. Now he's going with Force Focus, but little does he know, we have Sphere Karibo, and guess what? We took just enough damage for our fantastic skill, Draw, Sense, Spell, or Trap. We're pretty much going to get Leviathan, and there is Leviathan. We get our Melody of Awakening. It's only one, because we milled one, but one's all it takes. We banish our other boy, we bring him out, we don't use his effect. Because if we use this effect, it would have just been negated by this force focus. But a 3k beat stick is more than enough to break this field. He's down to 2 cards, 500 life points. We got pretty good uh, field dominance. He's going with a Mancer. Throws the Mancer away, searches another Gaga -ga -ga head. So look at just how easily he's able to endlessly come back. It's just too ridiculous for now. Something needs to be done. So now it's his turn to punch the field as best as he can, but he's pretty much running out of boss monsters, so he's gonna come out an M7, give me the duo back. Can't do anything else from there, could've at least, uh, well he couldn't really just break this field at all, so build it up, could've finished him with lethal with that one swing, finish him from there. Big, big duels from Automods, guys, that's pretty much all this was, great, great stuff. Um, yeah, Automods pretty tier zero. Any, any one playing it is just shooting up straight to the top. 
they'll run into some tough Thunder Dragons here and there and lose. But uh, other than that, they have an easy going. Resonators and Harpies are right behind them. But yeah, they're probably behind them. I'd probably put Harpies in Tier 1, Onmont in Tier 0, Thunder Dragons and Thunder Dragons and Trimid in super awesome rogue tier. So that's that's where the money's at right now. Thunder Dragons and Trimids, guys. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the special duels. This is probably going to come out way after the special duels. But uh, I loved it. This month's ladder for normal duels wasn't as good as this bunch of Anamont, like I've been saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.